Money Plays! <laughs> With friends. Welcome to Marble It Up, the biggest sequel to Crash Bandicoot 2. That's we're, not uh, what it's a sequel to. We're here to give everybody what they want. They've been asking for more Crash Bandicoot. We're gonna... We're gonna play Marble It Up it's now. It's not... Crash Bandicoot. That's why I said I said Marble It Up. Okay. It's more fun though. Let's play. Marble It Up is uh, in universe. The explanation for Marble It Up is that Engine is experimenting with a new uh, with a new system <gasps> with which to crazy uh, crystal marble to technology. eradicate <gasps> that pesky Bandicoot. Oh, I love these games. Have we ever played anything like this before? I don't think so oh, ever. Boo. Look at that. I'm already really good at it. With can no you get to the goal? Wow, good job, Chris. But can you get to the goal on this one? Haha, <laughs> just wait and see. You son of a gee. Look, watch this. Uh-huh. Oh my god. You did it. You're gonna do uh, <laughs> You're gonna do a tips and tricks. I'm gonna do a tips and tricks. Check this out. This is how the masters bounce do it. Bounce it, Chris, bounce yeah, it. Yeah, do it, do it, do it! Aw. Damn it! Okay, wait. This is if gonna be If you build up some speed, you get it. This is gonna be the really? Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Yeah. See? <gasps> Woo! Yeah, Woo! see? You did it. Good job, Chris. Yeah. Good job to you. I love the way you can just go like, Shah! Look, I really, I, in the original Marble thing. What? Marble, what? marble Madness. The Robbie I, Rotten I, I compilation? Really, yes. <laughs> I really That was Marble Blast Ultra. That's I really liked uh, it, I mean, it is. This is a follow-up to it. I really like jumping into the goal. It feels really good when your ball gets sucked yeah, in. Yeah, it does. It's I'm like, glad this one does it too. Yeah. Look at that. I got a gold medal. Uh-oh. Now you gotta collect the purple gem. You gotta get the gem rolls. The flemeralds. Don't call them that. <laughs> That's very disgusting. Has anybody ever said- I don't said, appreciate that one bit. Fuck. Has anybody, to make it sound more mystical, did they ever say ephemeralds? Effeminate emerald? Uh, like ephemeral. To become fully with... trans, you must collect eight of the ephemerals. You could do it. Listen, I would. <laughs> that would be fun. It would be fun. Then everyone would be trans. <laughs> But and you when, have to collect the emeralds! Everyone's trans, no <laughs> Only one, one person be. would wield all the emeralds. <laughs> I want to collect all eight of the femeralds. <laughs> How you many mystical them? emeralds do you think exist with different purposes, like the femeralds? Um... The 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 uh, the, the flem flem emeralds, flemineralds, the flem, the, 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 the flem. I, I don't think flemineral had emeralds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about flemineral. I thought that's why you said it. <laughs> the, that's good. I forgot about those two ugly fucking. Yeah, creeps. you can summon them with the flemineral rolls. They're a support trophy. I would <laughs> <laughs> flemineral. I hated one of their dis like not not because it was bad, just because he was disgusting to look at. The one with the braces. They're called flemineral. They're supposed to be kind of disgusting. I know, but I don't want to look at. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you jumped off this world to get away from them. Oh wait, it gives you a power up. Mm -hmm. Oops. You're supposed to jump. See it. Okay. That's the super jump. Super. It's because it's too bad they don't say it anymore. Yeah, that's too bad. The switch controller, all of the buttons on it are oh, black. No. I I have to get used to the layout because Nintendo sometimes wants you to hit a button I don't expect because the layout. We were talking on the car right over here about how uh, we all really like the GameCube controller. I like how yeah. because the placement of the buttons is really weird. It, uh, it I I think it helps you better remember which Ooh. buttons and where they are. Ooh. Because I just, uh, of the way they're oriented. There's there's this new design thing where all these companies are not color coding things, and it's driving me fucking crazy. Like the Switch controller is all black. I wouldn't care so much if it's like, okay, the A button is where you would think it is compared to every other controller, but it isn't. Yeah. Some games mix it up on you, and I get confused by that. Blender's doing that now too. They made all of the UI black and gray, so nothing stands out. It's hard to find anything. Oh shit, the GameCube Ooh. controller. Chris, really ice is though. slippery! Okay. Why do you think they have all these road signs up here in float space? I don't so know. So marbles don't get lost. I freaking love physics! You need some speed Whoa. to make it up the slope! I don't need speed! Oh, yes. <laughs> shit. What's your favorite physics game? Um, as Super of, Physics Brothers. As of lately, that overgrowth game with the rabbits. Does oh yeah, you were talking about that, right? It's fucking great, yeah. Oh, yo. okay, sorry. Do you Does like Super Bumper Brothers? <laughs> I'd play that. Does World of Goo count? Yeah, that counts. I really like. World it's more of, of a Goo. puzzle game than a physics sandbox, though. Yeah. Woo. There's not much you can do to really play with it, like 
once oh. you know. Oh, you son of a Ooh. son of a snake! Good structural stuff. It's like okay, I know how to do this now. I like games like when GTA 4 came out. That's what I was about to say. That is had the physics like controlling the everything. Yeah, that's so fun. You could just fuck with things. And GTA 5 has it too, but it seems like they dumbed it down a little bit. But um, I just I like physics and everything. <laughs> what about in real life? It's very fun. That's why I mastered <laughs> physics in college. <laughs> That's why I ragdolled into class every day. <laughs> like a marble. Wow, look at this one. I don't Bing. like- I don't like my marble. It look, doesn't look like a marble. You can Can't you change a, it to yeah, a different one? Yeah, you can one? pick out a new one. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't like this marble, but I'll use it. There's gotta be like an eyeball marble somewhere. There is an eyeball marble. Good. Okay. There's a pumpkin marble. <gasps> is there a football Does marble? Does it have like a single eye? Yes, World I think so. If I was gonna design a pumpkin marble, I would make it have a single it's a, eye. It's a big eyeball, I think. Oh, yo. There are a lot of fun marbles in this game. Yeah, well, explain to me every last one of them. Okay, uh, ah! there, there's, uh, Dipsy the marble, <laughs> and he's having a crisis. His best friend Tammy won't go out with him. There's the grand marble, it is the, it is the marble there, of the marbles. There's the Archduke of marbles. <laughs> he's trying to stop all the other marbles. <laughs> You're not taking this question seriously. There's Marble 2. It has twice the density of a regular marble. <laughs> the stage is named after the duality of marble kind. Oh no, Chris! No! No! What would you do if in Back to the Future when he walked up to Lorraine and he, he said- He turned into a marble. You are my density. And she said, I am your phlegm city. And she just got sick all over him. <laughs> <laughs> like she starts spitting up phlegm. Would that ruin the movie for you? No. What if he said, you're my density, and then he started gaining weight, oh, while no. she was shrinking? <laughs> she shrinks into his body. <laughs> you're my, really, you really are my density. Look at that. Can you make it? No! Chris, no, you're no! not! This is easy, watch. Oh! Ooh! No! Oops. Did I just... You, <laughs> oh. you picked the same one. Oops! You got a silver. Let's do it again and waste everyone's day. Okay. Everybody, this is uh, one less minute you have left in your life. Look, I'm gonna get you a spent gold. spent it on only place. Here. This is my gold. My gold. My gold. My gold. You can get the gold. Fuck. I believe in you. No, I'm not. I'm you not. can do it. <gasps> really? They have this at the Olympics. Go, Chris. Go, you know. go, go. Roll, 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 roll. roll, roll, roll. Oh, you son of a. <laughs> Uh, Surgeons okay. play this game, you know. <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> they, they play Final Fantasy VIII. They do, because they're really invested in the plot line. <laughs> then, then they, it they it has nothing fired. to do with being a doctor. Patience. You have to sit through it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. oh my god, Chris, ah! you did it! Ah! I'm Damn. proud of you. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing here? I really like these puffy, cartoony clouds. Blue platforms move when you roll on. Hold on to your marbles! Damn it. Oh, you didn't I, hold on to your marbles. I did it the first time, didn't you see? I held on to my marbles the first time. Look, Sometimes watch. your words just hypnotize me. Oh my god! Ah! Whoa! Oh, Fuck! But no. oh. Oh, shit! No! Okay, you can there do you it, go. Chris. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm the ball fella. <laughs> Ooh. How I would love you ball fella? How would you feel if you Ooh. woke up one morning and you were a marble in this weird world? I think of, it would like, be floating fun. platforms in the sky. Didn't you ever play Cooler World? I felt like a ball in that game, and I felt great. Cooler World looks fun. I would like to try it. It's not. It's really just a, a puzzle game, though. That's. I love puzzle games. That's fine by me. But there's no physics. It's still fun. Yeah, there's but no you physics. gotta. You gotta know how many steps to take. So write a game short code to make everything fall down. <laughs> okay, there's physics now. <laughs> People are gonna take this too seriously. Listen, I don't want physics in every <laughs> game. It's a joke. Chris, I was joking too. No, I know, but other you people can't write a game like, code for what that. an idiot! He really wants physics in Cooler World. Oh, actually, I kind of do just to see what it will look like. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, under I understand that. Uh, I understand that feeling. I really, I, like I really want to try someday to. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping Ding Dong will help me because he's a he's he's the numbersman. He knows smart things. I want to do- I want to put, uh, Mario 64 With controls physics. into the Nightmare Before Christmas game. <laughs> that would be <laughs> so fun. I want to be jumping around in that world. Or you could just put that world in yeah, Mario 64. Say, That'd just be a lot dumb, easier. Dumb yes, the models that, that and would put be them in Mario 64. Yes. Same effect. <laughs> okay, are you ready, Chris? Yes, I'm ready, Freddy. This one's really fun. Be careful. I really <laughs> like the levels in this game. I think they're fun and creative. Remember to jump if you're at the top of a slippity slope. Uh, skip Look at the beagle. I want to watch oh, get it. somebody oh, speed one of these. Shit. 
I want to learn how fast you can do it. Speedruns for this game are crazy. People can do real wild stuff. Are you even looking at that? I see the diamond. I see Flippo. I see him. Flippo. My, da my daughter won't stop flipping over. Your daughter Flippo? What do I do? <laughs> Doctor, my daughter Flippo <laughs> won't stop flipping. Why did you name her that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the forbidden name. Oh shit. The forbidden Flippo. <laughs> There's secret cheat codes. They're inputted when you name your child. Go. Yeah. If you name your child Zelda, they get alternate music in the hospital. <laughs> Wait, that happens in which game? In real life. Oh. <laughs> no, that does happen in a Zelda game. It does. That was uh, Link's Awakening if you put in Zelda. The yeah. file select, I think, has different music. His name's not Zelda. Oh, fuck! Oh, That's no. why it punishes you. Get up, you spooped fucking ball. There Did you go. Did you say spooping? Yeah, I'm losing my ability to speak. And Every this day. is this game is uh, difficult if you want to do well. Yeah, that's true. So I don't blame you. You're gonna bounce over Damn it. I knew it. it. I was trying to be cool. You, I was just trying to show that. You just acted a fool. Come on, there it is. You can do it, Chris. I know. Look at me go. Now get to the exit. Where is it? Up. <gasps> <laughs> Go! Go, go, go! See, I told you, I get very, like, physically invested in this game. I got this scissors physics. I feel like, wasn't I- wasn't I playing this recently and, like, grunting and stuff? As you if, were. As if I was expending actual effort and you, you, you thought did it your was thing where you go, <gasps> <laughs> That's not normal. <laughs> I, no, that's what I'm saying. I, this game makes me like people get worked up. Like this I feel so fun, dude. I feel like I'm the tiny little ball. This my is one the friend said her, her, her oh. my one friend said oh. her dog would run away if she picked up a game controller because it was used to her screaming at Call of Duty. <laughs> people get overly invested that's in hilarious. games. Look how fast the ball's spinning. It's like breaking. I know. Woo. I think it's cool. Yeah. It's fun. Woo. Chris, Chris, you think you can thread the needle? Yes, watch me go, baby! Oh, do it, Chris, oh, come on! God damn you it. can do it! You oh! can do it! Oh! Yes! Yeah, you did it. <gasps> I want more- I want every level to be that level from now on. <laughs> use Featherfall to glide? Mm -hmm. Now use it in the have air. You, have you beaten this game yet, Chris? Obviously not. This is my first time playing it. Is what it do you no, think? it's not, is it really? It is. Oh. What do you think? I like it. It's I, a marble game. I think it's a pretty big step up from Marble Blast, which is already really fun. It's a big step up? I would say so. These levels are really fun. This is such... I think they're very fun, uh, ideas. God, would you stop using that? They, they to make just, your marble do. Yeah, they want you to just have, like, a lot of fun with these and build up speed. <laughs> they got shortcuts <laughs> on all of them. I wish there was a little, uh, mouth on the ball that would say stuff when you do stuff. <laughs> He would turn to the camera and say, Hey, kid, I'm a marble. <laughs> hey, kid. I wish he would turn around and say, This game is making me marble. I picture him like the... You're, kid, you're slipping up. You're losing your marbles. Like Gilbert Gottfried. Stay God on point. Oh. Yeah, have Gilbert, Gilbert Gottfried, Gottfried as, the, That'd be perfect. as the as the fire detector. <laughs> <laughs> if Gilbert Gottfried was the marble in this game and he yelled at you for doing poorly, Watch I'd it, be kid. Happy. That's my face. <laughs> would be Ow. Stuff like that. My fucking face, you stupid child. How do you stop this? <laughs> Chris, that's not Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid child! That's like an evil person running an orphanage. <laughs> Mrs. Mavilda. <laughs> Merry Christmas, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> what? How do you turn off this fucking feather ball? It, you don't, it's I on don't, a timer. You gotta, you gotta know how to use it. Yeah, you gotta know how to use it. Like that. Do you, do you want a hint? Yeah. If you start bouncing on the ground, as soon as you hit the ground and go upwards, you could use it to get a big jump. Mmm. So try bouncing off the ground with it. God damn, I like this song. This soundtrack is really good. <gasps> all, all the music's really good. So you gotta just remember to time that feather Yeah, ball. you just have to time Oh! 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 <laughs> oh my god! I got bronze because I suck ass. That's okay, Chris. It was exciting. <laughs> more. more! I don't want more! Listen, this music makes me, like, want more. <laughs> this music makes me like, yeah, You can just play put this on for a while and just get lost in it. It's a lot of fun to mess around. If you like marble physics games, sure. I do! <laughs> oh yeah? I, I think many people could appreciate them. I don't know. 
I like shooting at things myself. Okay, what if they added guns to the marble? If I can click on a marble and it falls over, I'll play it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! If it makes a headshot noise and the marble falls over, I could appreciate it. Did you ever play Soldier of Fortune? Which one's that? It's the really gory one. Like, really gory. I think it's like the goriest game ever. Golly oh, gee, that'd Jesus. be quite a claim. Oh, 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 what about- A claim what about, entertainment. Uh, what about Chiller? That's pretty violent. Chiller? Have you ever seen that? No. I wanted to- I was That's disappointed. That's like gun game where it's just people in a torture chamber and you shoot at their <gasps> body parts. Fuck! We, ah! didn't to, we didn't get to play Harvester for Halloween. Harvester. That, that Harvester. Would, that, would have, that has some good gore. Yeah, that is. It's very silly too. It's a fun game. What what kind of a game oh, is it? Oh man, that's it's cool. It's a it's a very weird point and click adventure. Like it feels kind of eerie at the beginning. I like eerie. You're in a like a 50s suburbia setting, and no one, everyone there is very odd, and no one knows who you are. And it's a uh, digitized actors on really bad pre-rendered <laughs> backgrounds. I like that. It has a lot of charm going for it. I like eerie stuff more than like scary stuff. I like the atmosphere of something eerie. It gets ridiculous at the end. Uh, you have to fight a <gasps> giant chess piece at one point. Uh -oh. What's a good- oh. Damn it. Oh! <laughs> uh, what's a good example of something you would consider eerie, Chris? Um... I don't know, like, uh... In Resident Evil 2, when you're walking around outside, and you can hear all the zombies moaning in the city, and it's got that eerie music that with the strings. Fun. When you go down your hallway and the man is folding his arms at the end of the hallway. <laughs> He's going, hmm, eerie, I think. <laughs> Who am I? God, I'm so good at this Chris, game. if there was a mysterious man who kept following you, and if you made eye contact with him, he'd just say, Who am I? And he'd fade from existence each time. <laughs> I would, uh, I would, would, probably... you, would you want to discover his origins, or would you hope for him to just go away? Oh my god, did you know, you the see exit this? is oh down my god. there. The exit is what? That was the exit. It's down right there, there, but he has to activate yeah, it. Yeah, he has he? to get the gem first. Oh, you do. Okay. So there was a man who said, Who am I? And just, just disappeared. Yeah. But he follows you around. Like day to day, you'll see him sometimes. He keeps saying, Who am I? Yes. And he'll fade away. Can he scratch his chin and rub his head at, when he says it? Why do you want him to? Because <laughs> that's funny. Okay. <laughs> now he's, do <laughs> he's doing that now. Um, <laughs> has, that, has that affected this? It's- it's become less eerie and more just terrifying now. Fuck! <laughs> You're so scary. scared thinking about it. <laughs> I- it really happens every time a video game man falls, my legs clench up like I- like I'm expecting impact. It's a digital space. Your varicose veins shoot out mustard. Julian, it's just a marble. They can't get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hurt you. They're not real. <laughs> when I was, uh, really young, I remember I went to the doctor because I shoved a marble up my nose. And my mom brought me to the doctor and he got it out with a little scissors. Wow. <laughs> You cut it, your nose open. Is it because you watched the whole movies episode? <laughs> okay, no. kids, that's that's your motivation to not put marbles in your nose. They have to cut it out with scissors. Yeah. <laughs> no, I remember the whole movie. Fuck the whole movies episode with his little sister. Well, they use scissors on her too, don't they? Do they? Did they? I remember they use like little clamps on her nose to get them out. Oh. My grandma, she, she, when we went, we went to Italy to see the Pope. We literally went to the Vatican, the Pope was out in his little Pope mobile and shit. Uh-huh. And my grandma was like, I need him to bless something, but she had nothing on her except for little tiny scissors. <laughs> Fuck! God damn it again! Hold on, hold on! Oh. It comes back! I, was, <laughs> I don't want to wait. I was wait. just gonna say. But he blessed her scissors, and then when we were coming back through the airport, they wouldn't let her keep him. Oh my god. They were like, this is a dangerous weapon. She was like, what the pole? Were they on her person, <laughs> or were they in the luggage? Because as far as I know, if it's in the luggage, you're allowed. I'm not sure. She might have just been being, being a silly old woman. Was she swinging them around at everybody in the airport? <laughs> yeah, she was like, the bomb! Okay, the well, see, that might <laughs> the have been- <laughs> The bomb! The power! <laughs> Mm, this lady's kind of scary. <laughs> Bab, can we have those scissors? My grandma was funny. Uh, See the thing? Look at it! It says go uh, up. Somebody. You went up! Oh my oh god! My oh my god! My god. god. <laughs> Fucking <Okay>. case. <laughs> <laughs> well. I didn't expect that to go well. <laughs> 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 oh! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, fucking that Liza. Lisa Manili. <laughs> what about? She's so beautiful. Mm. Go, little ball, go! You can do <gasps> it. That's it! I believe. Is that it? There you it ready, is! Chris? Go get the gem! Trick one. You gotta do it. Go, go, go. go get the gem! Go, go, go! No time to slow down! <laughs> 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 
God damn it. <laughs> oh, it's scary. I like this level. This I don't is a like when the sky rotates. It stresses me out. <laughs> okay, check this out. No! I Listen, that happens uh, to me if... Uh, <laughs> Silver. If, if there's too many stars in the sky, like if I go out into a country where <laughs> you, you think can't they're see. all gonna fall sometimes. No, I like it makes me remember like oh yeah, How there big is the universe is there is no right up or down in reality. The the earth I is an illusion. Sometimes you stare and so you're like, Oh my oh, god, I'm gonna fall off this Chris, planet. Chris, do you have that that you stare up at the night sky sometimes <laughs> yeah. and it feels so like big and empty that you feel like you're gonna fall or something because it's so expansive? Yeah, that's a good I like that feeling though. <laughs> <laughs> I you know what? I I will say savor that feeling when you have it. Oh fuck! That, that scared me. That actually scared me. <laughs> I, the last time I smoked weed, which is something I rarely do, but the last time I did, I started thinking about how big the universe was, and it started scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> and then you you kept envisioning that you're falling off the universe over and over again, <laughs> like a little ball. <laughs> I feel like I've said this before, but I think space is legitimately just oh, fucking Christ terrifying on no, its own. It's because it's I, the unknown. There are things. No, it's I never... because you literally cannot live there. Yeah. There's no way for you to be in space and alive unless you have a suit. And even then, you're on borrowed that's time. Why we're, that's why we're on our little planet. But, uh... I don't, that makes me nervous that all we have is this planet. Like, I'm oh, like... Oh, fucking, you son of a bitch! We have methods of trying to What happens if I places? just wake up one day and there's no planet? What are we supposed to do? Uh... Die. <laughs> yeah, Get I mean... Get fucking killed. So... You're insignificant in the grand scheme of things. The grand gleam of things. You make the most of it. Check How do you out. feel about like this Let's Play channel, marbles. Chris? Wait, what? This Let's Play channel. What about it? it existing in a, in a great, wide, uncaring universe. That is kind of scary. Oh, for fuck's sake! They keep tricking me! I'm sorry. Sorry, Chris. no, no. Uh, so Move! You... Um, aim for green. Aim for green? Aim for the green path is where you want to be. Yeah? That's what I remember from this. When from you're this at level. the pearly gates. And, oh, have you already played this? Yes. And oh. God is before you. He'll say, You know, I didn't care for most of you little specks out there, <laughs> but Oni plays gave me a big laugh. Oh. <laughs> nothing matters in the grand scheme of things, like nothing. I would ha be happy that we helped somehow, I guess. Woo! I mean, I think that's the goal. You oh my wanna, god. You want to at least do oh, something fuck, for Jesus. the world. This is fucking scary. Oh my god. Okay, it's gonna end there. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. you go. <gasps> fuck. Oh, John! Ah! It warns you with every <laughs> sign. I'm just not listening to them. I don't know why. It's because I'm thinking had, about had the universe. Like a, it's because when like you're... an urgent siren noise, by the way, <laughs> with a, a bunch of the exclamation <laughs> points appearing. <laughs> when, you're, when you're just rolling like this, I can totally see that it's like... You're gonna get sucked into it and just kind of want to casually like yeah. roll. Yeah, exactly. And not have to worry well, it's about. It's because this level also tries to guide you off of it if you pick up too much speed. Okay, here we go. Jump here. Yep. yep. Okay, and then this one here too. Yeah, I'd say stick around the middle around this portion. I have Agreed. not. Ugh. I have never driven on a road. I've practiced They're driving. Kind of like this. Fuck. But I was gonna say, is uh, that what it feels like? Yes, they throw you off all the time. That and, it, well, uh, cars will go launching. Did I just do it again? God damn it! As in, like when you're trying to drive, like and you zone out and you're just enjoying the feeling of going fast. And then you go through the big loop de loop and you the smile. Big one. <laughs> and you, you get, smile. You get the super jump. The super. What is that from again? That's, that's from, from this. this. Yeah, that's is from it? the that's not from, from this game, but that's from, from Marble the, Blast, the previous one. That's oh. the same people. Is it the same people? It is the same people. That's cool. That I, almost yeah, never happens, it does it? Like oh. you, you get used to you get used to creators not being attached to their projects yeah, anymore. But, but they uh, they came back and they made a really good follow up. I was talking about this earlier, where you know the way Fallout seventy six is a huge disaster, mm -hmm. and people are like, "How the fuck does that even happen? Like, how does such a big franchise? How does that happen?" And, uh, I think the reason is because, you know, like, Todd Howard and shit? Uh -huh. He made, like, Oblivion, and he direct- Did he direct Skyrim? I don't know. I know he- he was the main guy in Oblivion, right? These- these main guys work on the game, and they become, like, uh... Like, legends for working on these big popular games, and then... They become the- the head of the company, and then yeah. they just don't want to work anymore. They're literally just like, I did my thing, I I'm mean, fucking done now. it seems like that's an issue with a lot of people. Yeah. That it's like, once you've achieved what you think of as success, you're like, okay, I'm done. And like, can like, you imagine working on more than, like, three games? I think part of oh! it... Ah! Christ! If we really... Woo! Oh, I'm glad you didn't die. Oh, if I we really want to get into this discussion, there's a lot of things that I could say, but, like, I think part of it is that when you... Big budget games have, like, 300 people working yeah, on them. Yeah, exactly. It's impossible to, like, yeah. maintain a sense of artistic vision when you're... when any idea is being passed between I mean, that we're many playing people. Smash and there's like thousands of names in the credits. Yeah. But it really it does seem like um there's like there's there's always one good, like really good guy who who like does everything right and they direct the project and everyone's like, "Wow, 
it's fucking amazing, but then they become like the, I think the big, big shot, and then they don't want to do it anymore. A big mistake of people like that, where it's like, oh, I achieved success, oh, and now everybody knows me for a thing. Yeah. You gotta make sure that you don't, like, you can't forget that you've still got stuff to learn, even if you were considered really good at one point. You know, but it's not just that, it's uh, when they become the big guy, and they're like, I'm a millionaire now living in my mansion, you go do it. Then those people who come in are usually, like, not as experienced. Well, yeah, they're not, they're also just not gonna know what to do, and if yeah. the person, the person who knows how to do it is not doing it, in some capacity, like direct, whether it be direction or something. Yeah. Then yeah, it would make if it, it would make sense if you're just okay, executive producer Tim Burton. Yeah. I came to the set a couple days while they were doing a green screen thing. I just wish that the the directors on these games would have some kind of like written guide where they're like, I did this, I remember doing this for a reason. Can you please make sure this carries out in the future installments? Where you you know like the new Just Cause game has come out. Yeah. It's got like downgrades in certain aspects from the other game, and it's like why. Like, well, shouldn't the sequel be better in every way? I have that, no that, idea where you're that going. That also happens with uh, Dead Rising. The, the Dead Rising 4 was oh, a fucking cool. disaster. That's because they rushed it. I know, but I, it's I also because they didn't fucking take any well, ideas would, from the original. I, I would say that was the biggest problem, I'm too, sure that Fall, was completely Fall intentional, Fall though, as well. I know, but that's Because stupid. everything everything right now is, like, geared towards getting a really wide audience, so if... You know, if something is too specific, you have to move it towards, like, the, a more The generic. originals take off for a reason, though. Yeah! Yeah, it's true. They well, do. To be fair, Fallout One and Two, most people didn't seem that familiar oh, with fuck. though. They only knew about it with Fallout Three. Yeah, that, that's I mean, why it's a weird example. And that's fair. Like, but Seventy Six is a disaster. There's well, no way. And you can I would, it. I would say it's mainly because they just also didn't really try. They looked around at everybody else <gasps> and what they were doing, fuck. and they kind of used it to fill in the void, as opposed to <gasps> releasing like the thing they put time into. <laughs> Julia. Bethesda's always been known though for having like really sloppy output. Oh man! Christ, I couldn't see shit. But, uh, and I also farted when I did that. <laughs> did, it, did it startle you? <laughs> it did! It really did. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little mouse fart. That was a fun discussion, give out warnings. Oh. Thank <laughs> you for talking with us about game development. Uh, oh my god! I'd say things are also just changing in general with the industry because there's such a demand for more and more being put into games. Yeah. But then, the budgets of these things and the involvement you have to get behind them, it's I, not gonna keep up. Like, I just you get can't frustrated. keep it going like I, that. I get frustrated when they take something good and they just, like, I shit totally, on it. I totally Like, Dead Rising's the best example of that, where they just had no idea what the fuck they were doing and they didn't care about the source. Well, that that's the other problem. You would hope there's still some passion, but when you also there's have none. to keep a franchise going for so long, you can't keep passion. Yeah. There's a, I don't know, there's a lot of reasons this stuff can happen. Fallout just seemed like they flat out didn't care. Yeah. They just wanted money and that was it. Yeah. Same with like Red Dead Redemption's online and GTA 5's online. That shit's just terrible. The fact that Fallout 76 has to run through its own client, which also doesn't work by the way, and deleted everybody's files during the beta, <laughs> it's clear they just didn't want people to get refunds on it, and they were hoping people would pay for the beta. And at that point, it's like, yeah, you're in. You paid us the money. Oh, fuck. oh no! Oh no! Oh, I have. I did not I, play this far into the game, so this is new to me now. Oh, uh, I like this level. What? Oh man! Every stage in this has shortcuts. I like it a lot. Oh, you smelly little ball head! There you go. And some of them are actually really good. Like Chris, you figured that out. The second stage, how they had the rocks to bounce off of. Mm. That's intentional. They have that on every level. They have little things like that. Yeah, I like that kind of stuff. I like extra shit that you can just mess with and figure out. Yeah. So the super jump has a quirk to it that if you use it as soon as you hit jump, you get an even bigger jump. So, like that, Whoa. you can do that to get up there. Really? So if you ramp off these little sloped walls. <gasps> See? You didn't even get gold there. <laughs> no, I didn't. If you want diamond. So it wants you to do it even yeah, faster. Yeah, you need to be really fast if you want diamond times in Oh this. my god. I see that wouldn't be it. For a diamond time, you'd probably want to do something more like this and just swerve in. Get it? And that's oh. a diamond. Oh my god! Oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh! I was doing so good! <laughs> I zoned out and I was doing good. <laughs> it's okay, Chris. I like it when you when you zone out playing a game and you're still doing good. That's pretty much all that playing Guitar Hero is. I was just gonna say, yeah, that makes me think of like rhythm games. <gasps> That's why I like rhythm games so much. <laughs> this is a very fun yeah. track. I like this track. It feels like mini golf. No. Oh, Be yeah, careful. I'm you not, don't want to. Ah! That Damn it! <laughs> that actually scared me. <laughs> I was just I was just able to channel the energy into screaming. Mommy. I almost said Marge, but instead I said Mammy. <laughs> I could tell. You saved it. Good job. 
No Whoa. one knew what you were going to we say. We don't need to talk about Family Guy. We don't need to talk about... It's true. Can't we talk uh, about something we like? Let's talk about F is for Family instead. Do you let's like talk, it? Let's talk about <sighs> Bob's it. Burgers. No. I don't... I haven't watched either. I'm sorry. Um... F is for Family looks like it could be alright, though. I watched a few of those. They were fine. They were good. It looked like it could be a fun show. I, I just have not seen, seen it. What is it? It's on Netflix, so I have not it's seen like it. It's like a comedy cartoon sitcom about the 70s average family. The 70s? Yeah. Bill Burr. That's Bill kind of fun. I've been wishing that people would like the 70s again. Bill I think it was Burr. a fun... It's got a lot of fun visual it's, it's fun, it's fun, and it's fun, and it's also fun. That is what I sound like, yes, thank you, <laughs> I like Chris. the 70s. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I'm struggling. No, no positivity here. I'm struggling to articulate myself. <laughs> right, it was just this. funny. I'm sorry. It's okay, Chris. <laughs> oh my god. Can we talk about Harry Potter, maybe? Uh, if you like. What, what, what do you like about Harry Potter? Can we please Potter? talk about this issue already? <laughs> do you guys like Harry Potter? Uh, yeah. I read, I, I read I, the books. I only know a little bit about it. I only read a couple. I think it's a wonderful, magical land. You know, it's about wizards, so I heard there is magic involved at points. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> they don't do magic in that book. I was just joking. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I'm trying to think of good things to talk about with Harry Potter. Taco Bell. Uh, yeah, remember the Taco Bell tie-in? <laughs> Harry Potter and the Taco Bell. Do wizards. If you brought your magic wand to Taco Bell, they give you a big chalupa. <laughs> a chalupa. Now, Chris, if you say diagonally Whoa. wrong... If you say Diagon Alley, if you say that uh, wrong, it sends you to hell. It sends you. It sends you to Nocturne Alley. But if you say Nocturne Alley wrong, does that send you to Diagon Alley? It's, and if that's the case, shouldn't you just say the one incorrectly because you have must like much less of a chance to fail? It sends you to Sears in downtown LA. Oh, <laughs> that's even worse. <laughs> oh, go! Oh, oh, oh hey, it, look, those reflections are even real. No, they're not. I see the level on it. It's called a reflection map. It's called. Just kidding. That is magic. Anyway, I was just I was just gonna say, <laughs> do you think wizards have any version of fast food? They have reflection maps. Yeah, do you think they have reflection maps in the wizard <laughs> the wizarding world? Yeah, I think they do. That's how they make everything look so magical. <laughs> that was in the second book. Ron complains because the mirror didn't have a reflection map tied to it. He's very nitpicky about the world he Maybe exists that's in. what the mirror of Erised was, where it's just like a mirror with a broken reflection map. And then they wrote it into the book as a cool story. <laughs> oh, they just used a random photo of Chicago on it. Dumbledore, when I looked in, I saw my parents. Y yes, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> that's your reflection, <laughs> I guess. The engine forgot to derez their models. <laughs> the models. <laughs> Wait, where am I going? Down here? Yeah. I was worried that that yeah. wasn't going to count, yeah. Do you think- Totally tubular! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did, did, did we ever say that you guys met the totally tubular guy? We, we did. did. Did you ever mention that on the show? I don't think we did. What did you think of him? Uh, he was he was very funny. We was, got to, he got to do the voice. Wasn't he kawaii? He did the impression and everything. Yeah. It's like the real Bart Simpson oh my was God. there before me. Oh my God. Jesus oh, fucking Christ. Ah, I was so close. Uh, do you want to see? No. <laughs> okay. I'm not like you. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was bad. Okay. <laughs> right, I want to restart. Okay, where's the to tell minus, me where it is? Minus button. I did. Oh, you want to know the secret? Yeah. Okay, you're not gonna the actually go is down the don't hole. Don't go in the funnel. Yeah. When you're bouncing up really high, you want to use the wind thing so you can actually like get a huge. So jump don't off don't of go it. down here. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. You want to try to get, escape the funnel and then use it. Okay. Okay, so like. So like bounce and then wind thing. Yeah, and see if you can get out. And there you go. And there's even a secret oh up here no! if you can get it! Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Fuck, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, son, Just keep going! Ah! Just keep going! Ah! Yes! You yes, did it, Chris. Yes, no! Fuck you! Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! Oh. No, you fucking! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. Fuck! I, I like to picture you falling out of the sky, <laughs> okay. just furiously oh, roaring. Fucking dumb ball, Chris. Those are going to be your last words. Fucking ball. <laughs> You're just gonna scream. Fuck! <laughs> when I, my mom's gonna pull out my little uh, hospital bed. <laughs> She's gonna unplug it. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> Shit! You'll wake up from your coma for just a brief second. <laughs> Mom! Fuck! 
<laughs> that really hurts! <laughs> I'm dying! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> there you go. I'll oh. plug it back in. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop! Oh. You fucking piece of shit! <laughs> okay, I'll unplug it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to Screaming the oh my episode. God. Look at this. Will he get it? Look at this. He's playing Spider Man. Uh, Holy shit. Ooh. Chris? Ooh. Oh. Can you slow down though? No! no! Oh, yo. Go faster. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you lived. <gasps> at least you got the check a point. Check a point. I don't need that funnel. I'm not stupid. Uh -oh. I mean, you don't. It's true, you Let's don't. Let's see if you don't bounce <gasps> out, though. No, you'll be, you'll be good. You'll make it. You're slow <gasps> enough. You're safe. I am the funnel king. You're the funnel cake. A funnel spider. Oh, do I need diamond to get the new ball? You need to collect the thing to get the new ball. Oh, fuck! I thought. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chris. Ooh! Chris? You got it! Ah! Yeah, good job. Wow! The oh, cat's eye. Cat's, that's a classic that's marble. Boring. Is it? <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> it is. It's the, it's the most basic marble. Look at that! Oh! <laughs> no! You ball. have it now. Stupid. Stupid ball, stupid ball. <laughs> stupid swan. Stop looking at me, swan. That line is now stupid swan. <laughs> stupid swan. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Have we been remembering the line all wrong? What if there's stupid a... swan from Happy Madison Productions? Would it you was be Billy happy? Madison, not Happy Madison, you idiot! Would you be happy if they discovered a deleted scene where the swan started fighting him in the bathtub? It would be the penguin. No, it's the swan. The penguin and the swan would fight him. That's cute. And then the giant chicken from Family Guy, too. <laughs> and Adam said, go, this is really funny! <laughs> Why does he sound like I that? I don't know. It's really funny. Because I'm thinking of everyone else's really bad Adam <laughs> Sandler impressions. That's true. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm Adam Sandler. Uh, that's not what he sounds like. Don't be mean to Doug. I, I wasn't Doug. No. Hey, you're mean. Hey. I'm trying to... Hey. How would you accurately do an impression though? Because I can't. I don't do know. It. I don't know. Dorothy Woody. I don't. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> he probably would do that. I like that grid. That's a cool grid. He, he's Opera Man. Opera Man. He's a. Uh, what were his other SNL characters? Canteen Boy. He was the Water Boy in the movie. Give us some more Adam Wait, Sandler's. Wait, is that what the Water Boy's based on? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I think it was just a movie. I can't find this last uh, gemstone. Where's the femoral? There, there was Happy oh, Gilmore. There, there was is. Billy Madison. Then they fused together and formed Happy Madison. There's Chili Madison. There is. And he goes. Burr, There's Silly burr. Madison. I was hoping that that's what you were. That's going actually with the that. straight the DVD sequel. <laughs> have, uh, Billy Madison too. God damn it! And he gets split by a, a devious device into multiple Billy Madisons, and they, <laughs> all have, they all have different personalities. There's Silly Madison. There's uh, Thrilly Madison. Spilly Madison. And Killy Madison. He's the <laughs> no. evil one. They have to look out for him. <laughs> that's a horrible. Film. That's how, that's when Billy decides that he has to join all of his forms back together. I don't want to watch your movie. <laughs> I didn't make it. Adam Sandler did. <laughs> Why do you know about it? No one else does. Because he's pitching it to me. He didn't do that. He did. He's pitching it oh! to... Oh my god. Oh, whoa! whoa! Boing. Tricky! Boing. Wow! SSX I'm glad you did not die, Chris. I like SSX Tricky. Ah! Boing. Boing. Now use the bumpers to go oh! fast. Oh! 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 No! Oh damn, it. damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, damn it. oh it did clunk. <laughs> At least I caught you. I'm not afraid of these bumpers. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that totally killed me. You did that on purpose. I did not. I really didn't. You you had a joke and you wanted to pull it off. Check this out. I'm going to do it. it all in one go. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. No. Now you got to get to the big cog in the Fuck. sky. I don't want to get to the big cog in the. <gasps> <gasps> Shit! There we go. Chris, That's if the, the afterlife Chris, was just out. a gigantic, Ow! a gigantic spinning cog, how would you feel? I'd just put my head in it and die again. <laughs> <laughs> die again? Yeah. But you just come back. Diagonally. Oh. oh, oh it all comes full get circle. Get it? Diagon O'Neilly. Diagon O'Neilly. This book is, is about me now. Who is your favorite <laughs> Harry Potter, Chris? What? Who's your favorite Harry Potter? The character? Yeah. Dobby. You really like Dobby? Yeah. Why is Dobby? Cause he's so nice. He is. He's a, he's a good little man. And he didn't do nothing wrong. And horrible to look at. That's not fair. He he 
He did get uh, Harry in trouble many times. That's I true. Remember. That's what Harry gets, though. Like when he stabbed the one kid. I just like his and voice. And said Harry did it. So, Chris, w would you be happy if, as a marble, you had a Dobby's little head rolling around? Oh, fuck. Dobby's little head? Yeah. I wouldn't like that at I all. I want Dobby's <laughs> big head. <laughs> oh, no! Well, Ooh. you got it. Good job. Ooh. That time was the squeeze. Remember when Harry oh. used the big... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when Harry did what? He used the big bang boom Yeah, he used the big head spell on Ron. <laughs> <laughs> they never reversed it. <laughs> <laughs> he used DK mode on Scabbers. No! He made uh, Ron's head 1% bigger every day for two years. <laughs> Ron never noticed. <laughs> <laughs> by, the, by, by the end of the series, it's starting to show. Then, yeah. <laughs> like, it's, en it's enough that he's still not reacting, but oh, everybody fuck. around is clearly uh, noticing. Eventually, Hermione has to break it to him. <laughs> his best friend was not actually his friend this whole time. He goes, bloody hell. <laughs> I've got cancer. <laughs> no, Ron. Cancerino. It was, it was the head enlargement curse. No, it's cancer. <laughs> no, it's cancer. He just really wants to do chemo for no reason. <laughs> he won't listen to her. You just have scabbers not the tumors It's because of, of his dad. He wants to experience muggle, muggle healing. <laughs> Chemo's brilliant. Can you make this? Oh, oh geez. I'm not afraid. Oh, I am. Oh my boy. god. Oh, fear! I experience fear. Fear and loathing. On a daily basis. Especially for marbles. Mar I don't want the marble I to feel, fall on you the know floor. What? If there were marbles all over your floor, you'd be pretty afraid, I would say. <laughs> Who put these there? I. The. Is oh, it a ghost? Shit. Why would oh. a ghost spill marbles on your floor? So, so that I trip and then. Is this, oh. is this the Home Alone So that ghost? I trip and break my neck and then. Why isn't there a Home Alone movie about a ghost who's laying the traps? <laughs> Kevin McAllister as a ghost would be sweet. It would be a good idea. That's how you follow it up. One of his own traps got him and now he haunts oh, the house. I... That's how you could do it. That's how you have an adult Macaulay Culkin. He killed his own self? Yeah, with one of his traps yeah. and now he haunts the home. Did you ever hear of Macaulay Culkin? I've heard of him before. <laughs> I've heard of Milky Culkin. <laughs> Have Milky you heard Cock? of Culk Culkin? Oh, yeah! Stupid swan. Here, this way. <laughs> you keep saying stupid swan. Stupid swan, you, you're making me gay. <laughs> you're making me look bad. Wait a second, you're that's not the line. Look, look <laughs> Why does Eustace not just kill his wife? He doesn't love her. He doesn't. I don't know what, I guess because she does stuff for him. Do those characters ever feel weird to you because they just recycled the same voice clips? So they're like kind of AIs functioning. Is that what they did? They do it a lot. They did that a lot. Yeah. It's, it wasn't. It wasn't like completely. Yeah, obviously, going, there's, there's there's new there's new there's nudes. There's nudes. <laughs> yeah, there's Muriel nudes. Eustace and Muriel. <laughs> no, there's new that. there's new like clips in I think most every episode, yeah. but they do reuse yeah. a lot of voice clips. Oh. He's he's saying, blah blah blah. Get away from me! I like that was my favorite. <laughs> Never noticed that. Oh fuck! Oh, go oh, stupid! I think that's what made the show even funnier. It was. It was. It was. I funny. always liked it. I need to rewatch it. How would you feel if you then found out that every time they did that, it was actually a oh, new yes. recording of each delivery? I'd be surprised they got it so spot on every time. Exactly. They just did it. They recreated that's it perfectly. That's talent. Where's the stupid level on it? It's the top left! They have an Dang. indicator! See it? The little green square. I prefer the levels where you're blasting around. I don't like collecting gems. It's true. Thankfully, there aren't that many this time. Get up. Stupid. Ooh. Hey, you did it, Chris. Now that's how you do it. Now get in the hole. And never come out. Oh my god, oh my god, oh! Ah! Oh yeah, I can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, marbles don't do that. Tell me something cool you learned this week. Uh, that marbles don't fly. That's not a thing I learned this week. I've what did that. I learn this week? Let's have a lesson of the week Ooh, for that's everybody. That's a good idea, uh, because it would be very hard and take up a lot of uh, awkward time that this nobody week, is speaking. This week's lesson, don't put your hand in fire, it's hot, it hurts. <laughs> Youch! Did you no really good. do that? No. <laughs> I'm just giving advice to the audience. Did you tell everyone that you broke your foot? I did break my toe. Why'd you do that? And then and then I, I, I crawled down my stairs to come record. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. shit, shit, shit. Oh! Ah! You fucking! 
No, you sentient block. How do you know they're sentient? They just drew faces they on them. They have little faces. Yeah. That doing, doesn't mean they're alive. I was doing so good there too. You I could draw a face on a building block. I feel block. like I was kicking so much ass there for was the, There's in Mario Land. Yeah, but There's who the cares? boxes and they're just spray painted. What if those are robots tumbling around? Oh, you don't know. Well, then these probably it. are too. I fucked well, then it. they're not alive, are they? Chris, no! I did that But then my... what constitutes as alive when you're AI? Dang it. I was so- I was kicking so much ass Chris, the first time. Chris, this game! It's Chris, confusing! It. It's not fucking- R Reclaim your throne. As the best of the barbels. Check this out. Easy. Julian, what's oh, your- geez. What's your lesson of the week for the viewers? My lesson of the- what, what did I learn this week? This week I learned that, uh- It could be any lesson to give the viewers. Uh, don't... Uh... Uh-huh. Uh... Pfft. You'll use lots of packing <laughs> when you're packing. Like oh keep, yeah, you're like, packing. That's true. Put lots of use soft lots of things. <laughs> Do lots of packing when you're packing. <laughs> 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 that's good advice. You creep. <laughs> when you move out, remember to pack. You don't want to. <laughs> well, yeah, that's packing. valuable oh, information. Ah! God damn it! Ah! <laughs> Don't let the platform get away. <laughs> I thought I said, don't let it get the best of you. Let's talk about marble. Okay. A la marble. Whee. Okay, that was good. Can you make it past the angry blocks? I don't think so. I'll see, you know what? Remember, this game is perfect for me. I love just momentum. That's all I like in video games. Do you like angry blocks? Momentum feels really good. I'm trying to oh, get, fuck. I keep trying to get Ding Dong to play Rayman Arena with me because it was one of the few games I had growing up. And there's, like a, there's a lovely sense of momentum in that one. I don't play video games. I just want to work. On video games? <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to play them. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of done, like, playing new shit. When, I'm, when I'm playing done. stuff, I'm always just thinking to myself about, like, oh, my own oh. ideas. Well, usually. yeah, that's the that's why it's fun to play new things, because you can be all like, oh, I don't like this, but I like this. You get ideas from it. Yeah, but then I also feel bad, because I'm not being productive. Um, so only play video games a little bit, which you probably do just fine. I have- I don't I, would, I don't know, the only time I see you playing video games is when you're streaming. Oh, fuck. Pretty much. I don't, oh, what?! I, I, don't, jump. I don't think oh, I play oh. them too often. Fuck, dude, this is scary. Momentum, Chris. Oh, fuck, momentum! Oh my god. Just scream momentum! Ooh, oh, wow. you did it. Dude, fuck it! I like this spooky, what? spooky scary Halloween music. I felt like I was kicking ass there. Gordian! Oh. I love Gordian. I like this, this one song a scary. lot. This music is very good. I mean, I don't need momentum to have fun in a game. Like, Crash 2 has no momentum. Yeah, it doesn't. But it's tight, and I like it. It's because it's, it's really fast, too. Yeah. Like, it's really responsive. You have a lot of movement options. I really do think Crash 2 is my favorite game of all time. I really, really? like it. It's yeah. good. What is your second favorite? Um, Probably Dark Souls 1. Oh, that's, these, these seem good, like, good picks. But Dark Souls 1 is, like, really, really, really... Shitty at parts, but I still just love the overall package. Julian, what would you say is your favorite? My top favorite of all time would probably have to be Pikmin. Okay. Aww, yeah, I Pikmin's really, good. I really, very much enjoy. You know what? Melee is probably one of my favorite games of all time. Melee is a lot of fun because that a game had never blown me away so hard at, at a given point than that. It was such I, an I can't improvement over how, the first yeah, one. Yeah, like it's a big jump in everything. I would certainly say so. Not only that, but they made it in a really short window and everything too. And, and I still play it the most out of all of them. It's- it's a lot of fun. But the new one just came out, so I, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I might play that one a lot. We'll see. It's true. Who is to say? Whoa. Have you unlocked everybody? I have no, I just got it. I literally just put it yeah. in. Um... People were very angry because I was- I streamed it, and I was playing with the Switch controller, and I couldn't control it good. The Switch is playing, like, with the screen on and everything? No, you wouldn't have been. You would have no, been using, using the Pro Controller, but well, it still yeah. feels horrible. It, honestly, the problem is, too, if you're gonna play Smash, that's a game that everybody is gonna look at you and yeah. be like, I could do better. I think Smash it's Elite is sort of my least favorite gamers of all time. I, I don't hear from them too often. I always hear people complain about them. Sorry. I don't really hear from them often. But I... Smash it's just... A, it's if you play it on a stream, you will hear from them. Yes, I would say that's just... The comment section like mentality though, yeah. rather than the Smash scene itself. <laughs> but Jesus. the thing with Smash Brothers, what's weird to me is just how people like act in general, like how intense they get about it. The Waluigi stuff had people going insane. <laughs> and it's weird to me because the the one that people were doing it for before was Ridley, and then they got Ridley and nobody said anything. They just started to latch on the Waluigi and got mad about that instead. Yeah. It's like you're just making it clear this is a dumb meme you're running now. <laughs> yeah. I- I feel bad for the team. I hope they didn't have to, like, hear a lot of that. 
You know they did. They probably did. Uh, but whatever. What it, the fuck? Ever? It's out! It's here! How do we get down there? Super Smash Brothers. Check five. Yourself. This is a very good song. I like it. I do. I really like this one. This is probably my favorite, I think. This game's got a very laid-back soundtrack. It's nice. You call this laid back? Well, this one's like party music. I like this one. You but, know what? Some of them were very God laid damn. back. Yeah. There it is. That's, it's I good. probably like this one because it's very like. I would call this one laid back pounding. in the sense that the the BPM is not Ooh. very intense. It's not that high. This is nice music to be listening to while rolling a marble. That is true. <laughs> you can have a high energy song that's not necessarily fast. Yeah. <laughs> this, gets you, this gets you. This gets you pumped. This okay. gets you ready. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. Yeah, that th <laughs> that new game I played. I already talked about the rabbit overgrowth game. Yeah, tell us more about though. I, I, tell I, me more. I didn't. I didn't know nothing. No. 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 How that game's right up my alley because I like uh, physics-based fighting stuff, which I don't think there's enough of. No. And it's very just fun to jump around, run around. Combat doesn't get enough exploration in games. I think it's because people typically the games that oh, fuck, would no, have combat forgot. tied to them. Yeah are things that are usually more story-focused anyways at this point, so I guess they just don't want to put the emphasis because it would hold players back. But I like seeing when people experiment. I that just, game does a lot with it, too. It's cool. It was really weird. Like, um, when I was streaming it, people were like, this looks like shit. And I'm like, does it? Like, it, it's so fun. Like, it's... It looks it just, like shit is in, like, they didn't like how it fuck. literally looked, or they were just like, oh, this looks like it wouldn't be no, they're like, fun this, to play. It's like, it's really fast and, like, ragdolly, and the graphics look like it's... It it looks like it's from 10 years ago. Okay. I mean, it but was it, in development yeah. since ages ago. But like, it's like, who cares? It's fun. Like, you can jump around and like, ragdoll people and get stuck on spikes and all well, this other fun Well, it's why I would say that's a flawed thing to start on, is by saying this looks like shit, because it's like, okay, well, what do you mean by that? As in visually it looks like shit? Does it look like it, it plays poorly? I like, mean, people, like, it looks better than, uh, like, like, let's say GTA 4. Like, I, but, I don't remember it being hideous. Yeah, it's not. I thought it looked good. It had good colors and it like... The models but are I, a little low I poly, have no whatever. idea anymore. I remember I was watching something a while back, and I was only watching out of curiosity. But they mentioned like old NES games, and they say I was just gonna we say, used to play things that look like this. And I was they, just gonna say that they like, make a comparison to Bethesda, saying like, "Wow, Bethesda's got nothing on this flickering sprites. We actually used to play games that look like this." And it's like, what? Okay, that's not that big of a deal <laughs> compared to a game like you know, crashing it. Oh no! You know. FUNNY TIMING! <laughs> Wowza! <laughs> what happened? Welcome back to Marble It Up, the... The crashiest the, little game. I think the game I heard said me. Just was kidding. The, you said it was a sequel to Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> I am funny, you see. Oh, Whoa! yo! I was not expecting that. Well, I'm sorry, I screamed. <laughs> yo! I, I know with visuals and games, though, an outside audience is gonna probably take it in a little different than people who, like, you know, are doing art. It's just, I, I don't know, I, I was just like... This is a game that, like, has a bunch of fun mechanics, and, like, all these new games have, like, no mechanics. It's literally just you running around, clicking on people, and they fall over and die, usually. And it just, it's, I mean, it depends on where you're looking, and the problem is the scope. Damn. At least if you're looking for something bigger budget, you're probably not going to find a lot of these things. These ideas, obviously, are going to come out of a smaller end, but, uh... Yeah. I don't know. I thought that game looked serviceable, but I, I guess it just depends for people. Yeah. Uh, like, I couldn't believe that people would look back on some NES games and say, like, oh no, they're completely hideous, when they're, like, pushing it and making it look still pretty nice, despite the hardware limitations. There's a f yeah, there's a few NES games that still, like, hold up, like, artistically. I think there's a lot of Super Nintendo games that easily hold up artistically. Oh, fuck, yeah. Totally. But, uh, I know there are people oh. who feel that way, where it's just oh, like, whoop. no, the, oh, the age of it is enough to kind of put them out, so, I don't know. Uh, it can always vary from people. Oh! I'm sorry, I'm trying not to grunt! Fuck. You really can't just blast through this one. No, you have to wait a little bit. That's why they have the timers on the outside. This if you is want no to get marble some time blast, back. you know? It's true. This That's... is a marble it up if I've seen it. <laughs> Whee! Oh! Oh, God damn it. God damn it! Fuck! If the game just didn't have walls, I would have made it! If only I was better at this game! But if only- I just don't want to put in the effort! If the game had infinite jumps, I could have made it! <laughs> That's actually a thing I've run into in my game where... <laughs> <laughs> where you want infinite jumps? Where it's really fun to, inf like, 
in Put Unity, it in as a power up. In Infinity, Unity the way the coders have it set up is that, uh, like, how many jumps you can have? And, uh, if you set it to infinite, it's really fun to jump around. I'm like, if this is fun now, should I keep it? I don't Just know. Just put it in as a cheat code. Yeah, that's why developers that too, would yeah. do stuff like that. I guess that's true. And it's a single player game, so who cares? That's the other end of it. I don't know why so many single player games now are, like, really trying to crack down on anti cheat when it's a single player game. Yeah, that's a you good You should point. let people have fun. Yeah. Put in, uh, put in cheat codes. Oh, Whoa. I see. That was neat. I was like, what the hell is going on here? Put in Big Bonko mode. <laughs> <laughs> what does that do? I don't know. It'll just say Big Bonko activated. I would I would love that. It would just, it literally, oh. oh. <laughs> it just, uh, it gives you a, a really silly looking rubber hammer and you can bonk people with it. <laughs> and make it that if you leave it on the, the cheat code entry screen too long, a screamer comes on. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> <fuck>. <laughs> I will never ever do a screamer as long as I, I live. listen. The Mortal Kombat one was really funny to me. There's a screamer. In Mortal yeah, Kombat? if you leave yeah, it, there is. the unlock system in it. If you leave it in the in the crypt for too long, a little like JPEG of a Halloween mask appears. A little spooky spook pops. Yeah, out. Yeah, a little goblin pops really? out and screams at you, <laughs> and people will yell at uploads of it because they'll say you didn't warn me about the screamer at three minutes. Fuck, this is scary. Are you looking at this? <laughs> I'm looking at it. You it, can jump through those. I know. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, uh, it's hard. Yeah. You gotta keep the momentum from it. That's scary. I know what to do! <laughs> I know momentum! <laughs> Demon's Souls would be one of my favorite games, except it's kinda Whoa. rough around- It's too rough around the edges now. But I love the world and the, the way they tried new shit with it. What if it had lots and lots of momentum and inertia? I like that. <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> <laughs> Everything flings you around everywhere. Jesus. I, I always thought it would be cool to have like a, a medieval knight game with just all physics with the shield. How about and a medieval sword? pinball game that you're a knight and you have ragdoll <laughs> physics and everything's whacking you around? That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, well, <laughs> I would go in on that. This is hard. The whole subject is you taking pain. Wait, it. Wait, is it gonna? Okay, let's no, you have to. I think through. they want you to yeah. just jump through. Yeah. Oh my oh, god! Well, you you did know, it. speaking of cool combat and uh, night games, though, Fight Night's coming out soon. That looks really cool. Fight Night? Have you seen that? No. You mean Fright Night? No, it's first-person perspective, and you beat up the bad guys as a knight. Oh, you someone punch them to death. Someone. Uh, oh, that's the sprite game. Yeah, that yeah. game looks really cool. Yeah, that does look cool. I'm excited for it. Yeah, that looks fucking sweet. Um. What was your thing? <laughs> what was my thing? What was your thing? <laughs> Forget. There's a lot of cool stuff coming out. Say, say a game that you really, really like that you yeah. haven't talked about yet. Yeah. Me? Is there Since any, we're talking about things any, we don't like, like about games, games let's talk found? about things we do like. Um, I follow a few people on Twitter that are making games that look really fun and Tell new. me about all of them. Um, I, fuck, I don't know any of their actual names. I just follow them because I saw the games and I followed them to see what would happen with them. I feel well, bad. Describe the games. Yeah, I feel bad because there's a Contra one I'm following. I oh, the is that the metal, it. the metal looking one? Yeah, that one looks amazing. Yeah. and I, I am so mad I forgot the name of it because I would love to give that like. Let, let's uh, look up the games and put them all on screen. And, yeah, pop, and, pop. The, okay, here, here's the title. Here, let me of start. This game. Pizza, there, Tower. That, yeah, Pizza, Pizza Tower. Pizza Tower looks amazing. Good. It's flashing. Whoa, 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 whoa. It looks really fun. There's it, that metal, if you the like, heavy metal looking game. Uh, if you like uh, the Wario platformers, the Pizza Tower, it's all about- We've uh, talked about Pizza yeah, Tower Yeah, it's before. cool. It's neat. It's about maximizing speed. You got so many moves you can do. There was someone making a game it's that really looked like- really nicely animated. <laughs> there was someone making a game that looked like uh, Pacific Rim where you're inside of the, the huge mech and you're throwing punches and it's all ragdoll looking. That, I think I've seen stuff from that one. That looked really fucking cool. I played Screen Sheet a while back. That's a- uh, Never heard of that one. I used to play that every night with my friends when it came out. Screen Sheet? Screen Sheet oh, I... is a- it's four player and it's oh, kind of based on Goldeneye. Oh. Just in the oh, sun. Damn it. Just like how it sort of like- Looks a little bit and how the maps are laid out, but the idea behind it is you can't see anybody Oh, I see. You have to look at their screen to figure out where they are so you can shoot them. Oh. It's actually a lot of fun uh, Umbrella Warriors looks like fun. It's a run-and-gun shooty game. It's what, neat What's that game that Donkey played where you're like at a party with a sniper and you have to guess who's that looks funny If you want to find cool stuff uh, go on Twitter and I know Twitter's shitty, but Twitter is shitty, but I will say all the games that I'm anticipating, I've been finding through there. You can find some really cool stuff if you search the hashtag indie dev. That's what I did. Or just following people, like following lots of independent developers. They spread their own stuff around. You you can find a lot of cool stuff if nothing's really been like you know exciting you lately. Pretty much everything I'm anticipating, I think I've found off Twitter now through independent developers. It's yeah. cool. Everyone's making really neat stuff. There's a lot of hand-drawn games coming out now, which is neat. Oh, it was a lot bad. People are actually trying with hand-drawn animation and games. I'm so happy. 
Sorry if it takes me a second to look up this shit. One the second. The Crash editor. Intense has all the nice hand-drawn animation. And it feels really good, too. Look, there's a cool one. Digital Opus. Tested the climbing system on a moving character. That looks fun. <laughs> looks like Shadow of the Colossus. I remember there was one that I found where a guy was doing a combat test. I don't know if he's taking it anywhere. I think he might be because he had a demo. Mm. But it was a guy, like, swinging a stop sign around. And it was a 3D thing in Unity. Let me restart. That was bad. <laughs> uh, by the way, people watching me play, I'm sorry. I'm going to stink at this, too. I have not played this since it came out. Now you go up here. Uh-huh. And see? Now there's crazy things afoot. Like a gem. Boop, 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 boop. Did and you know another... that the opposite of gem is Meg? No, that's that's gem in reverse. There's a difference. <laughs> that doesn't mean the opposite necessarily. <laughs> it's the opposite. <laughs> that's the inverse. No, doesn't that mean it's the opposite? If you turn a gem backwards so, so that it's... it turns into Meg Griffin. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the, the final indie dev game ah! that, that I liked, that looked cool, was they're doing a skateboarding one right now. I'm glad because I've missed uh, skateboarding games. Like, Tony Hawk was like, always Well, fun, I was going to ask, is it like a Tony Hawk style thing? Or, or is it like skate? It seems like a physics-based skating thing. But so it, it more looks like good, skate? Because skate was pretty physics-based. It was broken, but it was, uh, was physics-based on mostly everything. Well, I can't say until their game's done. Oh. They, they might change it, I don't know. Okay. But it looks like it's more physics-based right now. Whoa. Um... <laughs> I think it's funny that the latest Tony Hawk game was just, like, the worst thing ever. Yeah, they killed it. Why did they do that? I don't really know. Oh, no, you know what? I do know why they did it. I forgot. It was because they were about to lose the license, I think, and they had oh, to shit yeah. a game out. Oh, yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, they phoned it in because of that. It's kind of funny. It's funny seeing, like, a really hyper-realistic old Tony Hawk, like, ragged all around and glitched through the earth. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know what? I didn't even think about it that way. <laughs> it's kind of nice that you can have something like that. Thank God. Oh what? my god. Tony Hawk. This shit makes me, like, want to cover my eyes. He keeps tweeting about how people are like, Tony Hawk, like the skateboarder, and he's like, that's me. <laughs> I think I saw I, some of those. I have skateboarded. People are, are like, yeah, th yeah, thanks. <laughs> no one recognizes him because he's all old now. Poor guy. You're from the video game. What do you think it feels like to have, to have, like, so socially peaked so early? I don't know. Do you think it's weird to, like, be really popular when you're young and then all of a sudden nobody cares and you're only, like, 30? Uh... I would say that's I know a he's lot not of YouTubers. 30, but you know what I mean. That's a lot of YouTube careers. I hate this one, by the way. <laughs> I, I guess it depends on what kind of a person you are. Chris, this is the worst stage in the game. Is it? Yeah, it sure looks like it. I can do this. I love this kind of shit. I you, like bouncing on, on thin oh surfaces. Oh, boy. Well, it's, I'll uh, hand it to you after I fail. This is your monkey ball. Yeah. You know, I, I actually love this kind of shit. It's collecting oh! stuff I don't like. Okay, Some here, fucking asshole it. tweeted at me or messaged me while I was streaming, and he's like, "You like collectathons?" And I'm like, "What are you talking about? When have I ever said that?" Oh, fuck. he just messaged you to say you like collectathons. <laughs> no, I said something about some game, and then he was like, "Yeah, as if I'm going to listen to your opinion. You like collectathons." It's because people always do. All that. All that means is that you like a different type of game. Yeah, that's I don't not know, even a big deal. I don't know deal. why that happens. Why does? But everyone... I've never said that I like them. I don't. I don't like collectathons. Well. I do, but, but I, I, that's fine. I don't yeah, think it doesn't they're, they're matter. Not I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna yell at you for it. Whatever. Yeah. If someone doesn't like something you like, oh. then whatever. It's not a big deal. People can enjoy different things. No. Oh. No. Fuck. <laughs> I don't enjoy this. This is scary. Like, um, I, I enjoy watching. This you child do it, but is I'm, a gay. He likes this <laughs> game. I'm a wreck. I enjoyed watching you play Banjo Kazooie, but I don't like that kind of a game. That's not for me. I, you can like different stuff. I like the like, phrase, not for me, I feel exactly, like. Exactly, because that's oh. all it is. It's not like you're saying, oh, this is bad. It's just you're saying, this isn't a thing that really lines up this with me. This is a thing I want to fuck, darn. Yeah, I didn't get the... <laughs> this is a thing I want to fuck, because I don't like it. Check this out, speedrunning, you ready? Chris. Uh -huh. Scoop, 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 Would you... Oh my god. Would you, uh... If no, I'm you, doing it. If you and a girl that you wanted to fuck were in a little ball... Yes. It doesn't have to be little. The it's perfect a, It's woman. a human size. It's a human ball. Yeah. But she said you had to collect a hundred oh. jiggies to do it. Would you be <laughs> furious with her? Uh, would it be furious to fuck her? Yeah, that you have to do a collectathon if you want to get to fucking her. It depends on how she lays the jiggies out. If she's just gonna hide them in like cupboards, she I'll be pissed. <laughs> and it, it plays, no, she has a video game. It world. plays the banjo kazooie music while you're looking around. You're on a timer. <laughs> if she has a really oh, colorful so world, if yeah. she has a colorful ass world where it's easy to distinguish the jiggies, ah oh, fuck! Out in the open. <laughs> 
<laughs> out in the open, then it's fucking. Okay, I'll, 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 oh no! I'll fucking. If they're all in the, out in the open, if they're in obvious spa like places like they would be no, in the Banjo Kazooie. No, you have to talk to game. her friends and do like chores for them to get them. <laughs> that's awful. Do you have to do that in Banjo Kazooie? Yeah, that's what it's like. One of them will be like, "Oh, there's a bunch of bugs in my in my my uh, yard. Can you kill them?" Uh, maybe. I misplaced my thing. Can you find it? It depends on how nice they are. Okay. If they're assholes, then no. My question was going to be, would you be, would you fuck them in this ball while it's rolling around? Is, is there a hole to put my dick in? No, as in you and <laughs> you and the girl are trapped inside like a no, ball. No, no, no. <laughs> let, let, let Chris fuck the marble if he wants to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't think my, ah, Damn. my dick will fit in the marble. Chris, would you go zorbing if there was a hole for you to fuck while doing it? <laughs> Just play the footage of the guy falling off the mountain. Don't play that. Get that out of here. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> That's I, was what waiting, I was waiting for that to come up. You mentioned the Zorb on purpose. Oh no! There's more you can do with Zorbing outside of dying. Like oh, I don't having that. fun. <laughs> you can Zorb right into my asshole. You wouldn't die from that. How many people do you think want to? You. No, not me. Um. I don't need to be in your butt, Chris. Wishful thinking. Chris. Would you fuck a Zorb if it looked like? Uh, oh, I didn't mean you. Why? I didn't oh mean God. you or me. I meant you fucking something else in a Zorb. Oh. This is I meant you fucking a Zorb. That's what I meant. What a conversation. I was yeah, not saying, Julian, this. you would fuck me. I'm not that conceited. <laughs> but, uh, would you fuck a Zorb shaped like Tiny Tiger? That's not uh, a Zorb anymore. That is, yeah, that doesn't That's a make giant tiny sense. tiger tumbling sure, around. Sure, I don't see why not. If there's a ball that has Tiny Tiger's head, arms, and legs sticking out of it. No. That sounds like a toy for a three-year-old. Because it's taking away but the it's 20 feet. appealing so, thing So about it's him. like a beach ball of yeah. Tiny Tiger? God damn it. Oh! It's had fucking burning irons on each side. It freaked me out. <laughs> it's Fuck! A, it's true. It does. They're you have glowing the whole diagonal right here. It's so weird. Painful. There you go. That's what kept fucking me over there. Chris, this music is so dangerous. Shit! Shite! Check it out. Speed run. Speed run. Super focus mode. Activate. Just get to the end. La 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 la. Speed run. Speed run. Easy. Easy. Oh! oh! Okay. Never mind. <laughs> super. Super slow. Let's just get it over with mode. Okay, there you go. It's Charlie the Chalk Factory. <laughs> I love that song. I do too, Chris. I actually like that song better I than really, any song in the original. I, I, if you, that's one of those movies where, yeah, people can argue about the like <gasps> w whether the story is any good. That's fine. Yeah. But I really, really like that soundtrack. If you Me isolate too. it, isolate it from the movie, yeah. and just listen to it, I think it's really, really good. Yeah, no, I love that theme song. Gets me hyped. Wait, Chris, want to see a secret here? What? Touch that corner. Oh ah! my god! What the fuck? What happened? What? I, I Why did he die? I don't know. That's just a bug in the game. Oh my <laughs> that's god! Not, that's not a bug. That is a bug because I kept hitting it. And it kept killing me. That killed you? Yeah, that kills you. <laughs> you Why? Can, there is a secret up there you can grab with it, but... So that's what they're intending I don't know though. if it's intentional or not. <laughs> it feels like it's an accident because there's two corners clipping there. Mm. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it does launch you into the air if you touch that corner. <laughs> oh, I thought it'd be... Oh, I fucking started You probably could have gone You it. could get it if you have enough speed. I ain't got enough speed. This is the hardest yeah! step! Easy. Whoa, Chris! Whoa. You fool! <laughs> you stupid fucking ball! <laughs> He's messing up, not me! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Julian, watch. This I'm, is I'm easy. watching, I'm watching. Easy, easy. You have my full attention. <laughs> Check this out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no! Damn it! Chris, it's okay, you could, Chris. You could just make you it could to do. the end, please. Do I it. Don't fuck! Editor. Yeah, editor, you just <laughs> Editor, help. <laughs> okay, editor, can you please magic wand tool the ball and drop it into the goal for Don't us? Don't even cut it out as a sphere, cut it out as a square. Yeah, just cut whatever. <laughs> it, it will put it in, it's okay. You can cut the biggest area around this ball. Yeah! Wow, we made it! You're doing very That's a good, good shortcut. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, I'm gonna actually beat it. You ready? <laughs> this is the one. Viewers, we tricked you. The magic wand tool isn't in this game. What? Did you see that? I did. That was nonsense. Be very careful, Chris. Be very, very ball. <laughs> Be very, very ballsy. <laughs> Banksy, but like a ball. Oh, oh. <laughs> They're calling him Ballsy. He's the new, <laughs> They're ballsier version of Banksy. The Do Banksy's you? like, hey! <laughs> Do you explain it? What? <laughs> Are you trying to remind me every time of, They're calling it Jesus. Kind of. Okay, that's all I think of when I think of stupid news broadcasts. Jesus. 
There, uh, they, they, there, there's what? A, are you, that's there's bullshit. There's an everything, it was is, an everything terrible. is terrible compilation of people finding Jesus as in food products. in like things, <laughs> and so they go. They're calling it Jesus, and then they go through a big long compilation of how everybody, whoever does a news story about Cheeto Jesuses, they always make the same joke and, and call it Jesus. And then they laugh too. They always think it's very clever each time <laughs> they say it. <laughs> that happened to my family. You we, found a Jesus? We, we found Jesus in one of our kitchen tiles. And what did it tell you? We stepped on it and, and killed it. Oh. <laughs> we found a little Jesus running around the house. I wish- I wish that that's how people saw Jesus. Not- not as a ghostly apparition, but as a little tiny, like- I found Jesus in this mouse! It's a shame we had to kill it! I wish that was real. I thought that said Rancor, I'm not even kidding. That's a cool name for a metal band. Oopsie. Yeah. Not really though, because everybody will get really <laughs> mad at you. Man, if you're trying to if you're trying to be shocking, it would work. Yeah, like there's that band called Shit Fuck. There's Guar. They no. they talk a bit a thing or two about it. Isn't there there is a band called Anal Cunt. That's a real one. Fucking yeah. why didn't it work? I don't know. Why did you fall off? Chris, what do you think of Guar? I don't know who that is. You've never seen their big elaborate costumes? No. They're a costumed uh metal rock and roll band with big rubber Whoa. costumes of warriors and the one has his hoo-ha hanging out. His hoo-ha? Mm-hmm. His doodly doo. <laughs> mm -hmm. His squiddly bits. Squiddly bits, they feed I like the that. audience members to a giant rubber worm every concert. Do you ever grab your balls they and squeeze them really hard and say, hey, and spray look. blood at the audience? What? Yeah, you like your gore. Yeah. Um, I like gore, but I don't like real gore. I like- No, being... it's not real gore, Chris! It's Al Gore. It's allegory. That's right, they brought Al Gore to a concert. Oh, you stupid fucking cube. You didn't say you were gonna go down. Fuck. There should be a voice clip of it saying, I'm going down now. <laughs> <laughs> In a really scary robot. Hey kid, I'm going down! <laughs> I'm going down now! <laughs> <laughs> I wish that, that did that. Get off! <laughs> now! <laughs> Warning! <laughs> Careful, Chris, no! Boing. <laughs> you sure boinged. Uh, but boy, boy, where are you boing to? It was that sick, fucking disgusting pervert who put his voice in every single sound effect in Half Life 2. So he's just like, bang, bang. Oh! <laughs> Why is he a sick pervert? Yeah, what do you do? No normal human should do that. That makes you a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Clearly, you're deriving pleasure from this video game by playing it. <laughs> hey, you sicko. You wanna, can I tell you a funny I story? I only get mad at games. Can I tell you a funny story that tell happened? Tell the story. Tell the story. Uh, earlier I was playing PUBG, and I was I was just- I was playing with a friend, and we were trying- Oh shit. Here, you do this level. You, this, this you is lived! Another, this is another mindfuck level. You lived, though. Anyway, I was playing PUBG with my friend, uh -huh. and uh, we were- we had to play with an extra two other people that we didn't know because we were playing the test server oh. and it forces you onto a team if you don't have a full team of four, right? Okay. Uh -huh. So we kept getting two random people each time. So then after a while we just got bored and we started fucking with the people. But, but <laughs> in, in, in the first one, uh, we were talking to the guy and he was like really like, he just sounded like a 40 year old dude. And he was just like, Hey guys, where are we dropping? And I was just like, uh, I don't know. But then I was just like, you know, if you if you if you're diving in the parachute and you push P, you can pee yourself and drop what you pee. <laughs> and it wasn't funny. And then he was like, oh, "Okay." And then uh, when we were landing, mm. I kept saying stupid shit like that. And then <laughs> I ran up to him with a scope, and he already had a scope. And I was like, "Hey, man, you want to share the scope? We can take turns. I can use it for every five minutes and tra trade it with you." And he's like, "No." <laughs> and then after a while, he was literally just like, "Fuck this guy. This is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous." He's like, I'm muting this f And then I, then I walked up to them, holding a, like a Molotov grenade, and he shot me to death. Oh my god. And he's like, I'm not in the mood for this, man! Aww. And then my friend shot him and killed him. That's a good story. <laughs> no, it's not. That's a sad story. <laughs> Nothing good came from it. Chris got a few yucks. What were they? It's just a guy who didn't want to have fun. That's the worst you thing to see anyway. Yeah, but it's fun. Because he, he didn't be nice want to have be. fun, he annoyed him. <laughs> hey, man. Let, let me ask you something. Mm-hmm. If you had one shot <laughs> to be epic, <laughs> would you do it? Yeah. Or would you not? Did you ever, do you know who Ben Shapiro is? Yes. Did you ever hear him say, okay, now this is epic? I remember everyone was quoting that tweet. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, here's a, here's a thing. Have you ever seen Ben Shapiro's sister? No. She's like the most beautiful woman in the entire world. <laughs> 
How did how did you locate? Uh, someone tweeted it or something. I forget. Whoops. Oh boy. Didn't think you could do that. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris. I'm sorry too. The stage. I'm sorry. You're both gay. Tell us more about women you find attractive. Um, have you ever seen Whoops. a beautiful woman? No. Called Hillary Clinton. Uh, yes. Okay, mix her. She's very beautiful. <laughs> mix her with Ursula. <laughs> mix her with uh, Jesse from Toy Story. Uh, okay. What Why? do you get? I'm picturing it. What do you get? Uh, a mess. Raggedy Ann. <laughs> That's a really good, good point. <laughs> She's the most I'm glad it works. I'm glad I made a successful joke. She's the most beautiful vixen I've ever seen. Raggedy Ann. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about Andy? He's stupid. He looks ridiculous. <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> she knows how to wear it. She's called Raggedy Ann because she's always on the rag. <laughs> she's a raggedy old bitch. <laughs> she's a raggedy old bitch. I, I, I thought that's where you were going to go with it. Would you watch a show called Haggity Ann, where it's Raggedy Ann, but she's got little uh, black eyebrows that look, make her look meaner? Sure. Chris, have you ever seen the Raggedy Ann movie? Yeah, it's ridic it's ridiculous. 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 It's ridiculous mixed with retarded. I, think I would say ridiculous is, is ridiculous accurate. Ridiculous is pretty accurate. I'd say it's fun. Uh, except for everything involving the disgusting-looking pirate character. I... What did you think of it, Julian? I think it's really amazing visually, the animation's good. I don't think it's good storytelling, I but like I think the, it's very fun to watch. That's what I was gonna say, I think it's really fun to watch, but like... A lot of it is not very- it's boring, like it's not yes. interesting to sit through. No. What, what about it? Felix the Cat movie? That's a good example of having nothing to <laughs> offer. Yeah, I was trying to- <laughs> Figure out how to <laughs> articulate that. Yeah, it's uh, the Felix yeah, the Cat movie. something is... to offer. He laughs at a skull. Uh, that's true. I had it on uh, VHS, Chris. I would repeatedly, <laughs> I, when I was a kid, my parents would sometimes take me to, to Blockbuster, and they'd be it would be a very big occasion. They'd be uh -huh. like, "Which which VHS do you want to pick?" And you know, because I was sheltered, I didn't know what television was. No, I would just be I would just get the same one every time. And it was the Felix the Cat movie. <laughs> Felix the twat. This is the final stage, Chris. The pit of hair. Okay, let's play. Let's play. That's my- that's my let's play. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> let's try that again. Here we it's go. It's down to this, Chris. The final level. The final- the, down. The, the final marble. The final frown down. Oh, I want a Hogarth Hughes ball. <laughs> <laughs> like it's got his face on it? <laughs> yeah, and a is little- it, Is he like smashed against the edges of it? Like is he trapped inside? It's a really, really, really shitty bump map of his head. Oh. A bump map. Yeah. It should be like a sticker that's peeling off of him. <laughs> oh, look at them! They're so cute. Like you, Aww, you, you, you got it from a kid's meal, but not even like a McDonald's meal. It's like Subway or something. <laughs> that probably was the case. It probably was. They probably had. Oh, not afraid. You know, MC Hammer's cartoon Hammer Man had toys at one of those places. And then he went away. That and was... then he came back, and he had a nice day. And then he got then killed. Then Gramps opened up the bag, <laughs> and he took out the magical shoes. <laughs> he threw it at a woman outside. He said, down with all the Jews. I don't remember that lyric. <laughs> Why did you say that? Oh, no! <laughs> that was a very well-timed distraction. <laughs> and then she came back, and he said, what the hell? I told you to go away. And then she, she said, left again, but then she had to use the door this time. I love that. That is the funniest shit. Yeah, it's not shit. a rap, it's just him saying things really fast. And then he got blacklisted from the industry. Did he? Did Hammer Man? Did yeah, Hammer- not, not, not- Did MC <laughs> Hammer? No, MC Hammer's okay, but Hammer Man did get blacklisted <laughs> from the industry. Hammer Man. I mean, he said such things. Oh, Hammer Man! Oh! Wasn't he a one-hit wonder? Yes. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Yes. That's cute. I had Hammer Man on VHS. Did you really? I did. Did you bring one with you? Yes, it was a videotape <gasps> called Winnie's Winner. Wait, it, was, it was about it was about a dog they adopted called Big Old D. <laughs> Big Old D? Yes, that's not a joke. That's what it was called. Golly gee. And I swear they were trying to make like wink wink nudge nudge so jokes at the audience the whole time with that name. Because she'll always say Big Old D, come. Big old D. Wait, really? Yes. That you're fucking with I'm me. not. I'm being serious. <laughs> Big old D come. I'm not joking. <laughs> That's I'm awesome. not gonna ask you to watch it either because it's fucking boring. It is terrible, <laughs> and it's got like one frame yeah, every if, ten. Yeah, if you wanna, minutes. there's only keyframes. There's you, no would in you say that 
the Hammerman cartoon was the, the worst example of animation. The worst animation in the history of ever. Not well, an ever, but of like probably. a television animated show, specifically by Deke, absolutely. Deke. And Deke already had low standards. Deke. What she says, remember? Yes. Deke. What would you say? Ah! Man, what would you say is the worst animation you've ever Yeah, both of you. Try mm. to think of the worst animation you've ever possibly seen. Um Mm. That was just boring or bad animation? Bad, just bad animation. No, no, Hammerman. Like on TV, yeah. Mm. Boring? I'm trying to think what what was the worst. Hammerman, I could at least say visually they tried to stylize it and the opening has in between frames because it's an opening. You, you want to know what I think is the most boring show ever? What? Fucking the original Transformers. I've, I, I've tried watching that as a kid. It is so goofy that I am always going to be able to watch it and probably smile at it. <laughs> it. It's so boring, though, and so is the the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, that that's what I would say with them, is my, my reason for saying I enjoy them is that I think they're really silly, yeah. and that's the only reason I can kind of take them in. If there, I don't have any nostalgia for them. That's probably, I mean, a lot of people love He-Man, for example, and it's like, really? The filmation He-Man? <laughs> Filmation always like really cut corners hard, and yeah. they those episodes oh. are usually just well, close-ups of the character. Oh, no, you're gonna die. Yeah, there but we it's go. The thing about it. the thing about filmation it. is at least for all their shows, they're really <laughs> fucking weird. Yes, it's and why Fat Albert's that, entertaining. They have, all of the, yes. their shows have that going for them, so that at least you can be like, this is a really strange concept. The Fat Albert Christmas special. Uh, I was actually gonna say the He-Man one, but I'll go with that one too. They're both really entertaining. Yeah. The Fat Albert one, he's out of character and he grabs Rudy at one point. Oh, fuck. Okay. Fucking attacks him. Jeppers. Oh, I'm glad you lived. He's irresponsible too, he loses a child. Fat Albert is not in character during that movie. I'll say that, uh... But the, the He-Man Christmas is really entertaining. It is. <laughs> it is. Fuck. Oh no. Oh, this song's cool He-Man celebrates Christmas? No, they- it's that... What is it? Orko gets transported to Earth. No, or that's it. Orko finds two children and takes them back with him. He that's kidnaps it. them. We beat all the levels, guys. We did. Oh shit! Uh, congratulations, hooray! One hundred percent complete. Good job, Chris. Complete. Marvel it up. Wait, what, what are we that talking about? The no, cut it off. That's funny. Okay. Really? <laughs> if you want to continue the We can go back to the title screen and just cut it off there, like we just dropped the conversation for no reason. Okay, let's do it. Hey guys, that was Marble It Up. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded so passive aggressive. No!